it's time for another sea story with Mr. Do Right. Take it away, Mr. Do Right. I think they're ready for it. Welcome back to Sea Stories with Mr. Do Right. I am your host, Mr. Do Right, and today's show, Hip Hop African. That's right. And when I say African, I'm not referring to myself. I know a lot of y'all didn't know that I was black. But I'm, I am black, so just to let y'all know, I am black. But I'm not African, so y'all just keep that in mind. Anyway, this is no shit story, too. No shit story. It all happened in England. And me and some of the guys we were going out on Liberty. And we came across this club, and it was a hip-hop club. And we was like, whoa, a hip-hop club in England? That's awesome, because, you know, all the rest of the clubs was mm, 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 mm. It was all good and everything. You only could do this so much, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, we did that, like, all night long. And I'm like, man, my calves and my shins are killing me. It was a hip-hop club, and... and it looked like a hip hop club. It felt like we was right back in America. And it was like, oh man, that's some cool stuff, you know. We see some dark faces around the place. And it's like, oh man, we found it. So we go in, pay our little money to get in, and it's, it's bumping, you know. They playing, uh, the, let me see, what were they playing? I can't remember the songs. I only remember one song, and I'll get to that. But they were playing all the hip hop tracks, that, the latest ones and everything. And man, it felt good. You know, we got us a drink. Like, yeah, we stand around watching. Watching people dance and stuff and go off, listen to the music, and it was cool. And then the Yin Yang Twins came on, you know, that song, To the Window, To the Wall, you know. And we were jamming, we were like, oh yeah, yeah. So we started singing and stuff, and we up here moving our hands and all that stuff, and we were having a great time. The funny thing is, everybody in the club stopped what they were doing, turned around and looked at us, like, what the hell y'all doing? What do you mean what we doing? We doing the Yin Yang Twins. <laughs> and you know how in those westerns, the, the good guy, he walks through the, into the saloon, through the little swinging doors, and then everybody stop, you know, just stops and looks, and the piano player, that, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> What just happened here? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. What's going on? So we just kept dancing. We just kept doing our thing, you know. So what? We taking over. It don't make no difference, right? That passed, and everybody went back to doing their little things. So they had some nice looking women out there. So we were like, okay, we're going to sit up here and try to dance with a couple of them, right? And these women weren't with dudes. They weren't, you know, dancing with somebody at that second. They was just sitting there by themselves, right? So we go up to them, like, hey, you want to dance? And soon as you sit there and get the word dance out your mouth, some dude just comes up out of nowhere like, oh, my man, you know, I didn't know you was with somebody. So, you know, don't worry about it. Everything's good. So you go off and, you know, you sit around waiting. And you see another one by themselves. You're like, oh, I'm going to go see if I can go dance with her. You approach her. Next thing you know, some, some other dude who ain't even in the conversation, ain't even looking, does something like this. What? Wait a minute. Are all these women in here taken? So, one last time, I said, I said, you know, I'm going to dance with one of these chicks. And they had this fine one. Boy, when I say fine, yeah, fine. I went up to her. I'm like, hey, I'm reaching out, trying to touch her on the shoulder, get her attention. All of a sudden, That's what happened. They was shutting us down left and right. Those African dudes was not trying to hear it. You are not dancing with our women. You ain't enjoying yourself. You're lucky you got liquor in your hands. And it did taste a little funny. Man, it, I, I never felt so uncomfortable anywhere ever. And I've been to some uncomfortable places. And I just felt unwelcome because let me tell you a fact that you might not know. Africans don't like black people. And it is a difference. Oh, yes. Think about an African and think about a black person. They don't even match up. Totally different. Totally different. And they can't stand our black asses. Ah. Anyway, we got the hell up out of there and we went to some Irish pub and we had a good time from there. So... Thank you, Irish pubs. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, this is going to be a short one. This is going to be a sweet one. I am out of here. This is Sea Stories with Mr. Do-Right. I am your host, Mr. Do-Right. Until next time, peace. So, there's that damn soul. You elusive soul. You snuck in on me again. Thought I was doing good, but God dang, dang, dang it. So, man, I wish I had a dollar for every time I said so. If I had a dollar for every time I did, said so, I would quit my job. <laughs> and I would live the life of luxury. So, there's another dollar. <laughs> Okay, maybe I need to switch from so to okay. Let's try it. Okay. No, because I'm about to say so again. <laughs> so, I, so. <laughs> now I can't even recover from that. <laughs> No, I gotta do that again. This is the, this is Sea Stars with Mr. Do Right.